Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series where we are recreating the Sims 3 families and their homes in the Sims 4. So today we are recreating the Bunch family which has been one of my most requested families out of this series and I'm sorry that I'm just now getting around to it. Um, I was trying to give myself like a break as far as um, how big the houses are and how you know big the families are so I would go from like couples to singles to big families just because I was uploading once a week and you know the houses and it just gets kind of time consuming and uh, this is kind of a long video I tried to make it as short as possible it's a really big family really big house but one of everybody's favorites just because it is such a big household so here's a little bit about the bunch family for those of you who are not familiar with them so their family description says Here's the story. Two working parents juggle family, household chores, and their careers while their four children run wild. What is the right balance for this family of six to stay sane? And the family consists of Jack Bunch, Judy Bunch, Ethan Bunch, Lisa Bunch, Arlo Bunch, Darlene Bunch. And their name, Bunch, is obviously in reference to the sitcom The Brady Bunch. Um, so they're kind of modeled after them or inspired after them, I guess you would say. So a little bit, a little bit, a little bit about each of the family members. All right, so we have the father, whose name is Jack, and his biography states that despite Jack's staunch and formal military appearance, he is actually a fun-loving guy who loves to host neighborhood barbecues. And his career is in the military. So, thankfully, if you have StrangerVille, then you can easily download this family and play out their storyline perfectly because we have the military career now. So, I'm kind of glad I waited last to, you know, have them one of the last families that I recreate because now I can, you know, give him the proper career. So he is a squadron leader in the military career branch and his traits is schmoozer, perfectionist, loves the outdoors, green thumb, good sense of humor, and his lifetime wish is to become a superstar athlete. So he is very fit looking, like he's very muscular, but he's not very lean, which is kind of like accurate as far as like um you know just a guy that is solid <laughs> like a guy in the military he's just rock solid uh so i thought that was really cool and i am creating his wife um judy right now but i just before i get into her description i do want to point out that i did use a preset um for i think it's like the more to love or something like that preset i know that a ton of people have done um, reviews on it like Ocean Sims, Urban Sims, and I finally downloaded it and oh my gosh, I love it. I just, I've always had a struggle, especially in this series when I've been recreating, you know, women, especially women, you know, who have a little bit more to love and it's just, it's so hard to get everything right and it just, I, I love that preset. So if you were wondering how, you know, I got her body looking like that, that is the preset that I use. So go check that out. I, if I remember, I will link that preset down in the description. But I absolutely love that preset. But anyways, a little bit about Judy, the mother. She is a hardworking woman with three jobs, wife, mother, and scientist. She doesn't get a lot of time for herself these days and is taking a toll on her exercise routine and her eating habits. So, she is um, in the she is an aquatic ecosystem tweaker in the scientist career track, and her traits is neat, light sleeper, perfectionist, over emotional, and family oriented. And her lifetime wish is to be surrounded by family. So yeah, um, it is stated like in more detail of her description that she was probably a lot more thinner um, before. Obviously, she had all these kids she has four children and then you know like her description says she doesn't have a lot of time to take care of herself between being a wife a mom and you know a hard-working scientist who has a career so you know she doesn't eat the healthy healthiest and she doesn't you know get her exercise in um so that's something that you would want to pursue for her you know if you want to you know help her out help her get a little bit more fit um more healthy 
that's on you, but I don't know. I just kind of like having bigger sims sometimes. I mean, I just feel like, even me, I just get so stuck in creating the perfect body, because that's just, you know, you know, y'all know what I'm saying? I don't want to, like, be, like, offend anybody, but we need to get out of our comfort zone and outside of the just the standard cliche and um just create more diverse body types and i really really just love that preset like i said so um anyways yeah <laughs> that is judy bunt and um next i created her son or the son the oldest kid of the bunch family and his name is ethan bunch so his biography states that he is the oldest of the four Bunch children. He is extremely outgoing and independent. At school, he is one of the top students in his class, as well as one of the most popular. He has a special place in the heart for his little sister, Darlene, which is really cute, like really sweet. <laughs> and so he's in high school. He's a B student, and his traits is he's a bookworm, a genius, charismatic, and good. So he's just pretty much a little perfectionist, goody two-shoes. He's like the favorite of the family but like, i don't really want to say favorite um because i don't want to say oh she has like a favorite they have favorite ch a child a favorite child because that's just that's wrong um but he's the good child he gets good grades he you know he probably is very respectful he probably helps out around the house a lot helps take care of his younger siblings so he's just goals he's very handsome and i do want to say real quick i just noticed something that as far as all of the kids, their hair is blonde, um, and their mom and dad's hair is actually dark, but Judy's hair in The Sims 3, you can tell that her roots are lighter, so it's kind of like implied that maybe she dyes her hair darker brown, and the kids actually have a really light blonde hair, um, but I, do, I just don't like the bleach blonde hair in the sims 4 i think it works for certain sims but i gave them the more golden blonde hair so i don't know i hope you guys don't mind that it's not like exact because they do have like very bright blonde hair in the sims um three so anyways yeah <laughs> moving on uh the next sim we created was lisa bunch so lisa is also a teenager and she is the second oldest so she is a charismatic girl as long as you don't cross her the wrong way. She's had her fair share of playground fights. Will she mature with age or wind up on the wrong side of the tracks? And her personality is kleptomaniac, inappropriate, and a snob. Um, so yeah, she's a little bit of a troublemaker and I, I kind of like that about her. And I mentioned last week when I did the Alvy family, uh, when I was recreating VJ, I mentioned how he was a little bit rebellious and how in the game, in The Sims 3, him and um, Lisa, which I believe I got their names mixed up, I, I referred to her as Darlene, but Darlene is the little sister, which if VJ really had a crush on her, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be a little creepy, that'd be a little concerning, <laughs> but anyways, in The Sims 3, VJ and Lisa actually have a crush on each other, and I mean, I... <laughs> I don't think it's a good thing. I think that they probably should be better influences on each other. And with them both being a little troubled and rebellious, that they probably influence each other in the worst ways. Um, so, I don't know. I just, I like that dynamic. I like the idea of downloading this family and then also downloading the Alvy family. Um... And just kind of seeing, you know, how their relationship works out with, like, their traits and everything. Um, but anyways, moving on. So, to the little children, the next sim that we created was Arlo. And Arlo is a super-duper, extremely hyperactive ball of youth who is just not happy unless he's involved with something that requires running after something else. <laughs> he's very close to every member of his family except his little sister who drives him up the wall. So Arlo is really, really cute, and I gave him like a little ball cap, um, the baseball cap, but in The Sims 3, his hat was facing backwards, and we don't have that hat in The Sims 4. I probably could have found custom content, but I, I didn't think about it, but anyways, he's like very sporty, just very rambunctious, uh, very active, a little ball of energy, and he's you know, really close to a lot of his family members, but obviously him and his little sister, they just, I guess, since they're so close in age, she just drives him crazy. If you have a younger sibling, 
you probably know what's up because I had a little brother and he drove me crazy too. Um, and also, <laughs> I know this is gonna this is gonna sound really mean, okay? But just don't don't judge me for it, okay? But <laughs> in The Sims Three, I thought Arlo as a kid was scary looking. I just he was not an attractive child as a Sim. And I realized when I was trying to recreate him that the Sims children and the Sims 4, they all look alike. Like, when they grow up, they look nothing like they did as a child. Like, they, all the kids in the Sims 3 look cute, okay? They look cute. And I just don't get it. But, anyways, Arlo <laughs> looks cute in the Sims 4. But, as you can see in the screenshot, if you aren't familiar with him from the Sims um, the Sims 3, he's, 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 he's not ugly. But, he's just... He's got like a e. I don't even have, like e. What does that mean? But like a e face. I don't know. That's confusing and that's rude of me. But <laughs> anyways, before I dig myself a hole, I'm moving on to the youngest child. Her name is Darlene, and it says, as the youngest of the bunch house household, Darlene will do anything to get noticed, and she's already had a few broken bones to show for it. She lives to torture her big brother, Arlo, but she absolutely idolizes her big brother, Ethan. So, her personality is brave, daredevil, unlucky, and I just think that's really sad that, you know, her being the youngest, she's just fighting for attention, and she's doing everything she can to get noticed, and, I mean, I don't have, like, a really big family. It's just me and my little brother and my mom and dad, so I don't come from a big, immediate family, so I don't know what that's like, but I would imagine that, you know, it's a real thing. You know, you, you want to be appreciated. You want attention, and it's probably really frustrating when, you know, a lot of your family members are getting it, and you being the youngest, maybe she just feels overlooked. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> I think I just burped. Hopefully you didn't hear. Well, I know I burped, but hopefully you didn't hear it. Um, but anyways, that is um, the the Bunch family, and I hope you like how they turned out. So we are moving on to the build part of the house, which you know I have been doing that. And y'all, when I started this house, let me just tell you, it was ugly. I was I was concerned. I really didn't think I was going to be able to make this pretty because it is a hideous house. Um, it's just weird looking. I don't know. I just, I don't, I just, eh. but it turned out so much better than I thought it would. I absolutely love how it turned out. I love the landscaping, which I know I never brag on my landscaping because I hate landscaping, but I think I did a really good job with the landscaping and the backyard. It just looks so fun. Like This family is just fun. It's a big family, lots of sim, lots of personalities, and I really wanted to portray that in the house. Um, and I think it turned out really good, but I do want to mention that the roof situation, you guys, okay, the roof that you saw me struggling with, I actually cut out a, I kid you not, uh, probably about an hour worth of footage of me struggling with the roof because I've never built a house um, with the third story like that where the, the roof, you know, go like this, I don't know, this floor plan, I, the, that kind of roof. I've just never built a house like that. And... I've watched a lot of speed builds, and I've heard, you know, a lot of advice on it, and I know that there is, um, when you have that third story, it's more ideal to put the individual roofs and have them meet in the middle. That way, you can still go in and have your walls on halfway and see everything on the walls, and if you're a builder, you probably know what I'm talking about. I just, I don't explain it very well, but... <laughs> Anyways, that's what I was trying to do. And so I kind of struggled a lot with the roof. And like even here, it looks okay. But I still fixed it. <laughs> and made it a lot better. And it's a lot more even. It's kind of like a little curvy at the top right now. If you like see little hints of it. Um, but don't worry. I, I cut the footage out because I, I fixed it at the very end. <laughs> Once I like finished the interior of the house. I kind of just tweaked the roof a little bit. And it looks a whole lot better. It's like pretty much perfect now so you'll see that in the screenshots that turned out a lot better than it I, I came a long way okay I worked really hard on it but anyways moving on to the interior of the house um I really wanted their house to 
look lived in because this is a big family right this is a freaking huge family and i wanted it to look like there is a lot of sims that live here i didn't want it to be too cluttered um because um, Judy is a neat sim. I don't think that she would have like a really clutter messy house and that's one of the reasons why she doesn't have a lot of time to you know, take care of herself and focus on herself is because she's too busy being mom and wife so I imagine that after work she comes straight home. She cleans up the mess after all of the kids because you know they're going to leave messes everywhere picking up their clothes doing laundry and then she cooks dinner and all of that so I really wanted to portray that in the house and kind of give it you know that balance between you know a family home and lived in family home but it not being too messy and too cluttered um and also in the sims 3 their house on the inside was just not cute it was very like 70s looking or not even 70s what when was the brady bunch what what era was that like supposed to be the fifth set was it the 70s Maybe it was the 70s. Six, I don't know. I'm, I'm ignorant when it comes to like stuff like that. Like I'm pregnant. I just don't know. So anyways. Yeah. Also I don't know if you can hear the rain right now. But it's raining. And it's raining really hard. So if you can hear like the pelting of the rain. I'm sorry. I've got to do this voiceover. If I have to edit it out I will. <laughs> but anyways. Moving on to um, the house. And back to relevancy here. Um, in the living room, I just gave them a nice little living area, and I did put like a little kid chair over there. I just thought that gave it a nice little chut, a little touch, and then I gave them a little office area where there's a computer and a lots of, um, you know, just evidence that there's kids in the house. I did the use the parenthood. Um, little art box, you know, like the kids would come home from school and you know put their stuff on the wall there, and then. Over by the entryway, I just gave them a little jukebox, a little radio, and then since Jack is in the military career, I utilized the little metal display rack that comes with the military career, and I set that over there just to really take up space, and if you was to play this family, I have never really, ever since Strangerville, my little mini LP that I didn't get to finish, but I did finish it in my spare time because I wanted to solve the mystery. Um, I never earned any badges in the military career because I wasn't really focused on the military career, but rather solving the strange tale mystery. So, um, yeah, I guess that like, the more you promote yourself through the military career, you get those badges, I think. I could be wrong. But anyways, it came with the military career branch, so I put that in there. And as far as the entryway, um... You know, just basic entryway stuff. <laughs> and the kitchen is my favorite room of the house, um, or favorite part of the house. I think it's so pretty, and y'all already know that I absolutely overuse the heck out of the, um, the parenthood counters and the tiling wall tiles right there, yeah. My absolute favorite cabinet swatches and my favorite walls for, you know, the kitchen. I don't know. I just think it looks so nice. And I think it kind of tied all the colors into this house perfectly together. Um, and then over there, you can kind of see behind the stairs. Um, that in The Sims 3, that's originally just a bathroom. But it was such a big bathroom because, you know, sometimes rooms tend to be just extra in the sims 3 or max's houses when they build them <laughs> so i ended up at first i was going to split it in two and have the bathroom on the living room side and then the laundry room over on the um kitchen side because i felt like that would just make more sense since i'm always trying to like fit in laundry but i thought that the laundry room would look really nice over there on the other side of the dining room like the entryway before you go into the master bedroom so I ended up just deleting that as you'll see I don't think I put it on camera but anyways yeah so just in case you was wondering what happened there um, I just made it a bigger bathroom which it was not too big but it's, it's for a big family so you know it's okay it's a spacious bathroom and um, yeah <laughs> I am struggling with the voiceover. We're at that point where it's like, okay, what am I going to talk about now? <laughs> but, you know, that's that's the thing with long videos like this is that I'm going to struggle. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> the kitchen, like I said, is probably my favorite room of the house. I just I love how spacious it is. I love that the dining room is separated from, like, the living room. But it's also 
not like a separate room. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm just really impressed with how this house turned out. Uh, because like I said earlier, I definitely struggled with it. It was really hard <laughs> trying to figure out how I was going to make this look nice but anyways I ended up just like pulling out a bunch of clutter items um, which I think I'm going to have to start doing now once I start cluttering stuff I found that it was a lot easier and just like scrolling through because I don't know about y'all but sometimes when I scroll through um the objects or especially like debug I know what I'm looking for but it's, it's like I've furnished a million houses but I cannot find what I'm looking for. And I will scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Um, so I think what I'm going to start doing, because I just found that it helped me a lot more in this specific build, is like when I'm scrolling through whatever I see that I would, you know, think would look good on the counter space to clutter it up. I'll just like plop it on there and then go in and like rearrange it. Just that way I don't have to like struggle with scrolling through because I don't know, sometimes... It's, it's not that bad in The Sims 4, but I hated furnishing in The Sims 3, especially with, like, clutter objects, just for that reason. Because, um, it's, the, the menu was really hard <laughs> for me to, like, see the objects. They were just, like, really, really small, um, which, I mean, I guess they are in The Sims 4, too, but I feel like in The Sims 3, it's a lot more small. But, anyways, here I am doing the laundry room. Like I said, I ended up putting it over here in this little space right before you get to the master bedroom. I just put, you know, like a little curio um, cabinet right there with a laundry basket and, I don't know I just I thought it looked nice I just I like how this house is very cozy and the furniture doesn't always have to be matchy matchy and I've mentioned this before in previous speed builds there's like some houses where I feel like you know it would flow especially in modern houses um, as far as like the furniture and everything it needs to like flow and match and you, you know but then there's like houses like this big family houses where it looks really really nice just to not focus on how matchy it looks I think it flows in its own way does that make sense <laughs> I don't know but anyways here we are doing the master bedroom so this is Judy and Jack's room and um I don't know. I, th I think it looks nice. I really like the color scheme of it. I really, really love that bed, but I don't think I've ever used it in a speed build. Um, just because, like I said, um, it's like, okay, it doesn't really match with a lot of stuff, like the wood texture, but, you know, some houses, as I just said, <laughs> it doesn't matter if it matches or if it doesn't match, but anyways, I think it turned out really, really, really nice in here. Um, and they do have their own little, um, what am I trying to say? Oh my gosh, ensuite bathroom. So that is nice. And I did put the Elements Collections little table collector thing. And I put it over there in the living room desk area for Judy since she is a scientist. I just, you know, since I did put the uh, little display for the new military career of a strangerville in the living room so as you know you play this family if jack gets any kind of promotions and he earns badges you can display them i wanted judy to have something for her career as well so i did give her that scientist little thing um there's not a lot of room in this house obviously for like a whole uh scientist laboratory like i usually would do because you know you earn those objects when you get promotions but um it's just it's not really necessary i guess you would say but in two ways um you guys this <laughs> we're struggling because um yeah i just i'm, I'm struggling fun fact <laughs> this build right here this boy okay well this build I actually finished like pretty fast but as you're watching this, you've probably noticed that I did take about a two-week break from uploading, and I was not intending to do that. It's just, um, do you ever just, like, get in a, in a, a funk, a Sims funk, you know, where you're, like, on a roll, and then you kind of, like, crash, <laughs> and you don't want to play it as much? That's kind of where I was at, but also, um approaching the third trimester which you know I still have about three and a half months left in my pregnancy so um, I'm not like 
super close, but I mean, it, it flies by. It has flown by so fast. Um, and I mean, I just, you know, we're planning baby showers and planning, you know, working on the nursery and buying stuff. And it's just, I'm just trying to, I feel like I'm going into early nesting. I don't know. Like, I want everything to be perfect. I just want to be prepared um, as much as I can be. So I'm just spending a lot of time, you know, with family and the boyfriend and just you were just really soaking it all in because it's gone by so fast and in three months three and a half four months you know our lives are about to change we're about to have a, a little baby <laughs> so we're excited but I've just kind of had to take a step back from the sims just to kind of focus on me for a little bit but um, I really really wanted to get back into it since you know I do have a little bit of free time so <laughs> Yeah, I did build this a couple of weeks ago, actually, and I started the voiceover, and I actually picked up and finished it. I only got halfway through it, and I kind of gave up, and then I took my little break, so here I am finishing the voiceover, and I do believe I have, I've already finished the Alto Family, which will be, wait, the Alto, is it, the Alto Family is next, right? We already did the Clavel the bunch. The, I think the Alto family is the only family I have left. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm missing a family, but anyways, I've finished Sunset Valley is what I'm trying to say. I have created all those Sims, furnished all of their houses. It was so much fun, and yes, I am going to continue with this series just because I love it so much. I know you guys enjoy it, but especially just because it's so much fun for me, um, but I am going to be recreating Twinbrook, and I've already started on that. Um, that's where I kind of got in my funk and took a break, but I have started, um, but thankfully I have a lot of, you know, builds pre-recorded, so if I can just find the time to create the voiceovers, that's just going to help out a ton. And then also, you know, I've been thinking, and I don't want you guys to like quote me and hold me to this because I could easily change my mind just because, you know, pregnancy and just everything going on right now. But I really do want to jump back into the Let's Plays, especially The Sims 2. I did tell you guys that I had to take a break from it um, because of the reason it's not as easy for me to just get on and be consistent. But I have got to, I have got to, and I am, I promise, I'm going to wrap up Pleasant View. I am, I have to. I've gone too far. Everybody loves it so much. I can't just leave it on a cliffhanger. And I'm, you know, about at that point where I can. I started um, the last round of families, which is like, we, I think the last one I did was the Broke family. And it was our last time seeing them in season one. So I'm going to have to go through all the families and find a good stopping spot. So I think I'm going to work on that off camera and, you know, start doing that. Um, and then also working on Strangerville. Not Strangerville. Oh my gosh, that Sims 4. Strange Town. Because um, I know a lot of you were excited about that. And I kind of just left it, you know, on a cliffhanger there. But <laughs> anyways, I am going to continue that. Um, I'm not done with let's plays I just especially in the sims 2 it's so popular on my channel because there's not a lot of sims 2 so I am going to start working on that but it's probably not going to be as consistent as you would think it is it's just going to be when I can so let me know if that's okay with you guys but <laughs> anyways here we are into the kids bedrooms upstairs so we are furnishing Lisa's room which is a teenage daughter so Lisa and Parker no, no, Parker is Langerick. Um, what's his name? Oh, no, I forgot. Parker Dustin? Dustin Bunch? Is that it? Is it Dustin? I think. Anyways, but he has a room, and his is on the third story level. Um, but him and Lisa both have, you know, their own bedroom. And then Arlo and Darlene share a room. So, anyways, I absolutely freaking love how Lisa's room turned out. I put her little skull there, and you went into debug. I pulled out that really, really um, nice little headphone set thing and put it on her dresser. I feel like she'd be into music. I pulled out some, like, makeup clutter, put it on the dresser. As you can see, the furniture doesn't match, like, great you know but it still flows and looks really good it's just realistic for a teenager's room and one thing I really like about this room that I had to keep in mind is that Lisa is 
okay, her outfit in The Sims 3, which I kind of tried to portray in The Sims 4 as well. She wears pink. She wears the makeup. So she's kind of like a girl. Well, she's not like a girly girl, but, you know, she's into makeup and, you know, she likes to wear pink. But she's also kind of like rebellious and want to be badass. So, you know, I try to, you know, put some posters in there, put some lights, just make it very, um, I don't know, teenager-esque. I don't know, but it's also very green and very girly, and I think it's really, really cute. And then for Arlo and Darlene's room, um, I haven't play tested it. <laughs> I probably should do that before I upload it to the gallery, which I usually do before I upload to the gallery. But fun fact, I don't think I've ever said this in any of my builds, but if you download any of them, make sure you have bb.moveobjects on before you place it because I've noticed sometimes when I go into the game again and I don't put that cheat in, sometimes I'll have items missing, like the sink won't be there because I've moved objects onto it, if that makes sense. So yeah, just make sure you have that cheat on because this house is pretty cluttered because it is such a big family. Um, but their room is really, really cute and I'm running, I'm out of breath because, you know, pregnant and I'm getting, my stomach's getting out there, y'all. <laughs> but Anyways, I did put the little, um, what is that called? The Void Critter game machine thing in the floor. I sized it down so it would fit. I just felt like they would have a lot of toys and a lot of entertainment in their room. But I still think that they can walk around it. And I'm pretty sure, you, you, I know for a fact you can still sleep on the beds with those items on there. So, yeah, I think, I think it's good. I think we're good. <laughs> but anyways, the hall bathroom here, which obviously is for Darlene and Arlo and Lisa, I think is so cute. It's very bright. Kind of like reminds me of a beachy theme. And I did pull out that picture. It's like the little painting, tropical. And I put that in there and just tried to clutter it up a little bit and make it look like, okay, yes, this is a room that <laughs> uh, kids and teenagers use. I put um, the hair dryer and that clutter object in there. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's cute. I just, I love it. I love the big bathrooms, which when they're this size, sometimes they're too big. Um, I don't know, it just depends on the style of house you go for. Because, for example, I'm thinking about the Alto family because I've already built that house. Um, the house is huge. And there are some bathrooms that are kind of big. And just the style of the house is very luxurious. <laughs> so it was kind of hard to clutter. But bathrooms and houses like this, family homes, is so much fun to clutter. And family homes are my absolute favorite. But anyways, upstairs on the third story, we are furnishing... Gosh, why can't I think of his name? I'm having a freaking brain fart. I want to say it's Dustin. We're going to go with Dustin. <laughs> I hope I'm right. But this is his room upstairs. So I imagine that it would have um, been like a little loft area. Not necessarily an attic, but just like a loft area because you go straight up the stairs. There's no door. So he really doesn't have a lot of privacy if you think about it. Because as soon as you go straight upstairs, there's no door. Um, and then you go upstairs again to the third story and once again, there's no door to go into his bedroom So yeah, probably not A lot of privacy, but he's a good kid. So I don't think he'd be trying to sneak around and do much, but He has his own space. He is the oldest so I you know, you know Most of the time oldest get dibs on the best room at least that's how it was, you know in, in my life I always had the bigger bedroom growing up just because I was a little bit older. I know right? <laughs> Um, and there is a bathroom in there as well for him. So he does have his own bathroom. But yeah, let me just tell you guys. I struggled with the roofing in this third story just because I wanted you to be able to see the walls. You know, when you go into half wall so you could see everything on the wall and the decorations. Um, and I know certain ways that you do the roofing. Y'all probably know if you build, it's just not possible. But as you'll see in the screenshots, I did fix the roof. It looks a lot better than what you saw at the beginning. Um, but yeah, I am impressed. I really love how it turned out. Hope you guys did too. The house and the family is available for download on the gallery. So if you want to download that, go ahead, follow me on there so you can get all of my builds. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end here. Enjoy the screenshots. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you later.
Take it in.